I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. The Flagler County School Board remains split on the issue of prayer at meetings. Janet McDonald ignited the debate when she invited a pastor to speak at a meeting in August. She avoids calling it prayer or a religious issue. It's an invocation, and I think it's important that we acknowledge and include the larger community. Rabbi Merrill Shapiro, a board member of Americans United for the Separation of Church and State, spoke last night at the African American Cultural Society upon invitation by the Palm Coast Democratic Club. He says there's no difference between invocation and prayer. They think an invocation can be a meaningful reading from something written by Mark Twain. But the idea of an invocation is to invoke the name of God, and thus it would be considered prayer. McDonald insists the idea is about highlighting community organizations. Some of the community resources aren't very apparent. So the folks who provide community services, personal development, well-being on every level through activities, whether it's our heritage organizations or our faith community organizations or our social organizations. I think it's important to let people in the community know that they are also a vital part of what can support and make our community better. But Merrill insists it will only make the community more divided. Because it's not going to be satisfactory to one religious group or another religious group or to people who don't believe at all. And so we feel that the public schools and the board meetings should be inclusive. Everyone should feel welcome. No one should be made to feel like a second-class citizen. This portion of Flagler's Morning News brought to you by the Daytona Beach International Airport, Delta Airlines nonstop to Atlanta, and now nonstop service to New York City via American Airlines. Citizen Purchase Technology is being credited with the arrest of a Palm Coast car burglar. John Arking has the story. On September 28th, the Flagler County Sheriff's Office responded to Plumtree Place after reports of a car burglary. Upon further investigation, deputies discovered three additional homes had their cars burglarized as well, with one victim reporting $100 in cash missing, as well as a gold bracelet valued at $150. Another victim reported damage to the inside of their vehicle in addition to being burglarized. Deputies were able to obtain surveillance footage from multiple homes on Plumtree Place, but all showed a suspect, later identified as 16-year-old Kyrone Graham, attempting to burglarize the cars. After questioning by deputies in the presence of his mother and showing Graham the surveillance footage, he confessed and was arrested. A search of his bedroom found 24 rounds of handgun ammunition and the sweatshirt he was seen wearing in the surveillance video. Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley says the arrest is just the latest in a trend of combating this type of crime. We currently have a 52% reduction in auto burglaries, and I attribute that to our aggressive enforcement of juvenile probation checks, aggressively focusing on these crimes and the technology that the community is installing and using and sharing with us, and our education initiative to always lock your car doors and keep your garage doors closed. Graham was transported to the Sheriff Perry Hall inmate detention facility in charge with burglary of a conveyance, two counts of committed burglary, four counts of attempted burglary, and criminal mischief, and turned over to the Department of Juvenile Justice. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Ark. Sheriff Rick Staley files for re-election. With more, here's Tony Magoo. Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley filed paperwork with the Flagler County Supervisor of Elections Office yesterday seeking a second term as Flagler County Sheriff. Sheriff Staley, why should the residents of Flagler County consider pulling that lever for you? We have a completely new agency reorganized since I have become sheriff, and it is delivering results. you have stats to back that up? Crime is down more than 25% since I've been sheriff. Traffic fatality is down 42%. We're seeing crime reductions again this year, but we're not done. I'm asking the voters to keep me as their sheriff in 2020. Sheriff Staley was elected sheriff of Flagler County November 8th of 2016 and took office January the 3rd. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Magoo. Flagler County has what its students need to get to work after graduation. Lynette Schott with Flagler County Schools said that students provide the manpower that local companies need as well. It was our local businesses that came to us and said we need heavy equipment operators. So we were able to work with Flagler Technical Institute. We've opened our first class of heavy equipment training so that they can be certified and begin to feed that need. Schott said there's even a construction tech class. It's at Matanzas. They are building a tiny house. She said working with Habitat for Humanity is also in the plan. To hear the entire interview, go to the Free For All Friday podcast. It's on the Flagler Radio app. Download the app today.
From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.